Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back sure, to Fallout 4. Or where it's, at. it's not fun unless you're up close and personal. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are. Starting off grabbing Clark's tool box well going to Clark's toolbox and grabbing a Clark's stash and his stash key, I think. Oh, this is the wrong bathroom. It's this one. Behind the stall door. It's an advanced lock, so you gotta pick it. Fuck, man. Okay. Yeah, this episode we're just gonna do the uh Brad Burton Township area in that top right corner of the map. We're basically gonna 4D. Can we make sure I read that? I guess I'll take the stealth boy. Why not? Gage like that. He's like, hell yeah. We're gonna explore all the little side locations for this episode. We want to go up there because it has a hollow tape that's gonna come into play hey, in the first park we explore. It's me, Clark. I don't get pissed off. I know you were expecting to meet up with me, and instead, you found this hollow tape. Well, sorry, buddy, but I just couldn't take the chance that you double cross me. Ain't no fan of playing nice with So, I've decided to split the goods up myself and just leave your share somewhere else. I'm gonna head west with my share, see if the sunset folks are buying. But, uh,. You might do better selling the stuff to the Vim people up in Maine. The key I've stashed with this hollow tape should get you into the footlocker under the bridge near the bottling plant. Good luck. All right. A lot of auto saving going on back to back, making it load all terrible. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I guess I'll read these because I didn't read them last episode and I felt like I wanted to come back and do that. So we'll do that really quick. Welcome to Nuka World. You are currently in Nuka World's Nuka Town, USA. Please make a selection below to access more information. Let's check out the history. The idea for Nuka World was born on a Memorial Day weekend as John Caleb Bradburton watched hundreds of Americans enjoying an ice cold Nuka Cola at the fairgrounds. He thought a day like this should be every day, and the idea for Nuka World was born. Construction was started in July 2049, and despite everyone's doubts, opened less than a year later on May 1st, 2050. Nuka World featured Nuka Town, USA, and Kitty Kingdom as its two main attractions. Nuka World's opening day saw tremendous success with over 40,000 tickets sold. Due to the overwhelming success, the plans to expand Nuka World were immediately set in motion. Dry Rock Gulch opened in 2058, followed by Safari Adventure in 2067. On both occasions, the amount of visitors almost doubled overnight. The Galactic Zone, the last and most ambitious of the planned parks, opened to the public in 2072. So... Like five years before the bombs dropped, I suppose. Alright, let's read up on Kitty Kingdom. This will be the first park we explore. Kitty Kingdom was the original featured park of Nuka World, famous for its <laughs> sugary, <laughs> I read surgery, sugary dessert theme. John Caleb Bradburn wanted to focus on a place for younger children to enjoy. Some of Kitty Kingdom's more popular attractions include the Ferris Wheel. King Cola's Castle, Nuka Racers, and the Fun House. Kitty Kingdom is located northeast of Nuka Town, USA. It'll be the first park we visit, followed by the Bottling Plant, which is where we will use Clark's stash key. That's where his stash is located, is by the Bottling Plant. It wasn't long after opening that John Caleb Bradburton realized he wanted to share the joy of making Nuka Cola with his audience. The local bottling plant was remodeled and updated to allow for a fun and educational experience that all ages can enjoy. Currently, the bottling plant is featuring Nuka Cola's latest product, Nuka Cola Quantum. The bottling plant is located northeast of Nuka Town, USA, and north of Kitty Kingdom. Dry Rock Gulch. 
Dry Rock Gulch was the first of Nuka Cola's planned expansions. Its grand opening was held on Memorial Day weekend of May 2050, which coincided with the introduction of Nuka Cola Wild to the public. Inspired by John Caleb Bradburn's own love of the Wild West as a child and as a celebration of the Nuka Cola Wild Soft Drink, Dry Rock Gulch takes you back in time to the days of cowboys, horses, and saloons. Dry Rock Gulch features Mad Mulligan's Minecraft uh, coaster, or Minecraft, Minecart coaster, and an outdoor theater where you can enjoy child friendly entertainment. Also popular is Doc Phosphate's Saloon, where Dry Rock Gulch features its own, its very own inspired Nuka Cola product to beat the heat, Nuka Cola Wild. Dry Rock Gulch is located northwest of Nuka Town, USA. Safari Adventure was the largest undertaking by John Caleb Bradburn. It took a grand total of seven years to build thanks to the valuable input from a variety of zoological and environmental scientists. It finally opened its gates during the Labor Day weekend of 2067, nine years after Dry Rock Gulch. Popular attractions at Safari Adventure include Cabby's Treehouse, the Primate House, and the Reptile House. And please mind our dust as we work hard to bring you future entertainment with the Angry Anaconda Roller Coaster, coming soon in 2078. Ooh, so it was never unveiled to the public because the bombs fell the year before that. Safari Adventure is located north of Nukatown, USA. Interesting. All right, Galactic Zone, final one. As the shining pinnacle of Nuka World, John Caleb Bradburn's final inspiration was to bring his customers a taste of the future with the Galactic Zone. Opening at the start of the season in 2072, it set records as the most popular attraction in Nuka World to date. The Galactic Zone contains a unique collaboration between the Nuka Cola Corporation, Vault Tech, and Robco Industries. Go on a space adventure in Nuka Galaxy, prepare for the future at Vault Tech's Among the Stars, and finally, experience Robco's latest and greatest in robot technology at the Robco Battle Zone. The Galactic Zone is located west of Nuka Town, USA. Not all content may be appropriate for children. Ooh, that sounds like my kind of place. I don't see a problem with that at all. All right, cool. So we no took care of that. This is, uh, this leads us south, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to go down here. There's a location. We're, we're basically, okay, here, I'll give you a rundown. We're going to go down here and hit this location up, which is Evan's home. It's his house. We're going to get a, a recipe there. And then we're going to work our way up along this long stretch here to the top. It's that north east like, pocket up there. Cause like I said, we're going to get a hollow tape that's going to come into play next, uh, within the, the, well, I don't know if it's all going to be one episode, it might, the Kitty Kingdom Park, but it's going to come into play there at the Kitty Kingdom Park. So anyways, let's go ahead and head south. There's a lot of doors you can unlock from like the outside here. Here's the elevator that led us up to the, uh. Nuka Cola transit train thing. That's the the elevator that wouldn't work when we first got there, where the announcer was like, "Looks like we got another gauntlet runner." I was like, "Yeah, that's me." Hall Nass in this Marine combat armor. <sighs> Come on, Gage, catch up. All right, here we go. Here's Evans' home. Sup, buddy? Are you cool? I'm cool. Wait, there's an explosives container. Ooh, an expert lock. This might be, might be some, good, might be some good shit in here, though. Now I'm saying, now I'm saying, now I mean. Sweet. Oh, and it was just crap. I was stim packing a rad way. I guess I'll take those. Anything else? This dude tells you to take whatever you want, so he doesn't get upset if you steal anything. Oh, that's not how you crouch. I guess that's all I need. All right, give me that recipe too. What's up, well, dude? Hey uh, what brings you all the way out here? You always this friendly to a complete stranger? Hmm. I suppose it's because I don't like to judge people until I get to know them. Sorry if I caught you off guard. 
The name's Evan. I've been out here for Yeah, years. well, don't do it again. I guess you could say that I like the peace and quiet. And the view. Well, look for yourself. It's something else. Since you took the trouble to find me, least I can do is return the favor. Need any supplies? What's, What's the, catch? the catch? No catch. No trick. Let's just say that I've been out there. And I know that the world can be a cruel and unfriendly place. So, is there anything I can help you with? I like this guy. You got any weed? <laughs> we should sure, smoke a doobie. Great. Glad to help. Let me see. Here you go. I found this on the outskirts of Nuka World a while back. It isn't doing me any good. Boom, the Nuka love recipe. So that's our... Well, it's what, our second, second I think? Recipe. Feel free to stay for a while and help yourself to anything else I have laying around the place. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna... All right, so he just hangs out here. So that's all we're gonna do there for now. We gotta go ahead and run up along the edge of the map here, the right side. So we're gonna go oh, here. I'm gonna get on this. Let me get on this road. I'll follow the road up. We're gonna head to Wixom's Shovel Museum. It's gonna be a little combat area, a combat zone. Just gonna run through the ruins of this little town area. Ooh, got some craters here. Let me check this out. Oh, this is not, I'm not on the road. I need to get over here. Here, let's get on this road. Seems to be the main road. And then the shovel museum is gonna be off to the right. Up a bit of ways. Jeez. Uh oh. It's got this like two-story house here. You've got your <laughs> your 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 whatever, your bandits, your raiders will go ahead and fight them. We're gonna I'm gonna ignore that though. So we need to get to this shovel museum. I believe is over here. We got a lot of traveling to do, so I just want to... That was just... I don't know if that was a location I'd hit it up, but it was not a location, so I was like, whatever, dude. No sense in... I don't even need the experience. It's just going to tie up resources. Oh my gosh, this guy. This guy wants to... Be a fool. Now let's go ahead and check out Wixom's Shovel Museum here. Nothing to grab here, but it is kind of cool because it's... I don't know. Just a bunch of scavengers, I think. Yep. Eventually they will get attacked by uh, raiders. I think if those raiders possibly like make their... Oh wait, never mind. The raiders are coming right now. Gonna read these plaques in the ensuing chaos. The first shovel originated in Neolithic times. It was probably made using an animal's shoulder blade. This is a replica of what that shovel may have looked like if it were made in modern times in Mexico. Too bad it's not there on display for us to see. Private Jean Jean-Luc Allard used this very sh shovel as he followed Napoleon's horse in ceremonial parades throughout Europe. Please do not touch. Ooh, that's a fancy shovel. Special shovel. The item you see before you is not technically a shovel, but an example of the long-handled spade. Most popular sometime between April 3rd and April 7th, 1963. Used by actor Keith McKinney in the film Ditch Diggers of Dusseldorf, this shovel was actually the stunt prop for the McKinney shovel used in the more dangerous action sequences. Stunt shovel. This shovel was used by our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln's cousin's neighbor, to prepare a latrine hole in 1862 that the president himself might have used. Ooh. That's a special shovel. So, yeah, they they just murdered. Just wrecked. All of these scavengers. Poor scavengers. They were just scavenging. 
The Raiders are like, get in there, man. We got to take them out. It's cool, though. We can kind of loot their bodies. Let's go upstairs. Get out of the way. I have a walkthrough to record. Get out of my way. Got some exploring to do. Stim pack. Let's check this out. More stim packs. Bobby pin rah. Alright, let's just oh wait, here we go. That's right, there's a terminal. Alright, whoa. Foul corrupt. That's just whatever. Message Derba Garbagar. <laughs> Letter of resignation. It is with a heavy heart that I announce that today is the is my last day at the Shovel Museum. After almost seven years working here, I have decided to accept a job at the Museum of Mops and Buckets, and will be moving there soon with my family. We've done amazing things together, and I'll never forget any of you. Thanks for everything. Signed, R. Employee, R. And then it's all messed up because the file is corrupted. Alright, cool. Well, we are done here at the Shovel Museum. This was a lot of fun. But I think we got to get a move on. Let's go ahead and continue north to about right here where this junction lies. So we have a gunners. This is basically where the gunners have set up their base of operations is at this location. We're going to go ahead and clear it out. I'm going to do a quick save too as soon as we get there just in case I die. I don't, I don't have to go through all that bullshit again. Come on, I don't want to fight these things. Maybe it'll leave me alone. Alright, you can see the little symbol there on our map. It's like a bridge symbol. Just head towards that. Finally getting a bit of action in though after those last two, actually like last three long just talking episodes. Running around. Oh, I might as well explore this shack since I'm here. Since I stumbled across it. Because that would be a missed opportunity. Alright. Oh, I guess there's something down here, too. Look at that. Okay, never mind. It's just a cooking pot. Cool. It's like more like a... It's more like a banded outpost, actually. Let's turn off the lights. I don't want to get seen. It's right above... Okay, well, they see me. Caution, yep, they, they know I'm near, they know I'm around, I'm not hidden. Alright, we gotta go over here to this other side though, and ride, basically ride the gondola. We ride the gondola, over to that side, we gotta take out some fools over here first though. Took him out before he could do anything. Ooh, we had fusion cells, nice. Alright, I know there's another one down here. Okay, so I want to also mention that there is one, uh, one of the gunners up top here has a Fat Man <laughs> nuke launcher, so mini nuke launcher. It's one of those. So be aware. Let me do an auto save, a quick save right here. Not really an auto save, but a quick save. I'm gonna go up top and heal up. How many stim packs do I have? 14. Man, a lot of right away. I didn't even need to use that. Let me see. why I wanted to like save do a quick save all right let me take care of that where did that come from where did that come from let me freeze this guy I wish I had this freezing rifle in my practice playthrough sometimes I play like I do I'll be like all right I'm gonna freeze this guy and then I'm like oh yeah that's in my recording profile 
That is not in my practice one. There we go. He shot his laser at me again. I got in here in time, though, to dodge it. All right, let's go. Oh, shit, he's invisible. That's where you're at. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, that thing's strong. I remember there's... <laughs> what? Is it that easy? I just threw like two frags in there and he's dead. Okay, well, alright. <laughs> I'll go with it. I don't know what happened to the other guy. Maybe he fell off the edge. I gotta figure out where the. All right, there he is. He's got the fat, fat man launcher. I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze him. And I got a sneak attack. Nice. All right. Make sure I freeze him again. No! Oh my God! That went right past my head. I can hit all the way down there. All right, cool. Woo. All right, now that that threat's taken care of. 13 stim packs. Oh, yeah, I can't freeze this guy. This guy's like one cool guy. I thought I had one more shot. I was going to do a critical. Ooh, damn. That did a lot. Look at how much grenades do in this game once you, like, max out your shit. It's pretty potent. Yep, can't even stun him with it either. Power armor just makes you like invincible to a bunch of crazy shit. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh lord. No idea where that came from. <laughs> I just smacked it. <laughs> Alright, there's some power armor pieces, I guess, if you want those. I'm going to ignore them and go all the way up here because there is a terminal to read. It looks like there's one more guy, too. Maybe he threw it. Oh, wait, that's power armor. This guy was sleeping. I don't know where that... This girl, this gal was sleeping. Legendary enemy mutated. Look out, guys. I'm not even gonna use that, but I still like, I still pick those up. All right, so here we go. This is the other side, nothing over here. We cleared out all the enemies, so that's cool. Flamer fuel, um, Luka Cherry, I guess. There's some stuff in here. A single shotgun shell, so cool, cool beans. I think I'm gonna give that shotgun to uh, Gage whenever I find him. Here, I'll take this fusion. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to take the fusion core. I forgot that you have to hit transfer. You know what? I'm going to use this power armor anyways. Let's go ahead and access the terminal. User logs. Recon team is missing. This is the personal logs for user Corporal Tornin. Corporal Tornin, fourth ops log. It's been over a week since Sergeant Lanyard took the recon team to the Nuka World bottling plant. A day after they left, our scouts started seeing those weird glowing lurks crawling all over the place there. So there's Meyer lurks at the bottling plant, basically. Uh, we tried drawing a few of them away, but those things are way tougher than any lurk I've ever seen. I've tried to send a runner back to HQ for reinforcements until they get back. There's really not much we can do to help beyond keeping the base held down. Holding down camp. Third ops log. Taking control of this outpost as ranking officer, Sergeant Lanyard has decided to lead the recon team to perform a more thorough search of the Nuka-Cola bottling plant. 
One of the privates asked why she was leading the team herself, and after she knocked a couple of his teeth out, she explained that something about it just felt like, oh, hinky, almost like kinky to her. No idea what that means, but I'm not stupid enough to argue with her. What is this place? Sergeant Lanyard, second ops log. Now that I've seen more of it, I have to say, this nuclear world place is pretty strange. I can't possibly imagine what practical use a place like this would be. It's almost like a series of forts, but the pre-war gates don't even seem to have doors. <laughs> if not, because it's an amusement park. If not for the frequent radiation storms, it'd almost be the ideal place. If we can find a good toehold to start pushing the raiders out, this could be huge. So they basically set up shop and they're waiting reinforcements right now. Waiting for reinforcements. Um, having been sent with a moderate detachment to explore the western areas of the Commonwealth, we came upon the Nuka World Transit Station. After putting a bullet into some guy who was obviously acting as a lure, we decided against trying to use the monorail and hoofed it over the mountains. Rougher terrain than we initially thought, and we've lost comms with Gunner HQ. No matter, we've run off comms before, and if things go south, a follow-up team will be sent our way. One of our recruits mentioned that he'd heard of some kind of trading post out here. A lot of possibilities there. We've set up base camp on, on Brad Burton Overpass for now, and I'll be sending recon teams out soon. So yeah, they're just waiting for reinforcements right now. Intel, Nukatown, USA. Private Benson said he had heard of some sort of trading post to the south at Nuka World, something called Nukatown, USA, but that intel is clearly out of date. Recon scouts have reported the location of a substantial raider encampment, easily one of the biggest we've ever seen in the Commonwealth. Unless we can gain a fortified location and bring in reinforcements, there is no chance of taking that place. Brad Burton. And then Brad Burton gets marked on our map. A recon team to the north has reported of the town uh, we can see from our location. Pre-war town by the name of Brad Burton, currently unoccupied but overrun with ghouls and other critters. Low chance of high value savage. Moving on for now. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot to get there. There's only two things we're going to do when we're there. Initial recon of the area has reported a heavy radioactive mist. Danger could be mitigated with available suits of power armor. Initial assessment, despite the potential for an easily fortified base of ops, the potential cost in troops and supplies currently outweighs the benefit. Shame, I would have liked having my own goddamn castle. Bottling plant. So they only know about two of the parks, or they only have intel about two of the parks. I guess they didn't make it west enough to explore the other three. Finally gave in to the badgering of some of my troops and sent a team to investigate the bottling plant at Nuka World. They seem to think that the place or seem to think that place would literally be able to print bottle caps. Ooh. But anything that valuable would have been scrapped ages ago. They snuck around and found a back entrance to the factory, and there seems to be some decent pre-war robots still active inside, considering leading a tag and bag to add to our dwindling supply. This is a back entrance. All right, let's get out of here. Now that we have this power armor, we can just hop on right down. Let's, let's go this way. We need to go north. It's like just a shoulder pad and a chest plate. I'm going to leave this power armor in Brad Burton too because I don't care about power armor. People are like, oh, you leave power armor behind. You left a fusion core behind. And I'm just like, I don't like, I don't know. I don't like using the power armor. I don't use it. Sorry. It's not a game mechanic that I enjoy using for my character. I'm going to ignore that clown. So we're going to hit this red rocket station over here. Now, once you get the power back online, which is like at the end of this whole DLC, um, this becomes a settlement up here, and you can use it as a settlement. There's like a workshop and everything, but for now, there's nothing to really get here. Let me go into third person view. There's a little bit of salvaging you can do. I don't have a light to turn on. Really? Anyway, there's a workshop, but we need, uh, yeah, Nuka World needs power, so. That ain't happening right now. Anyways, now that we've explored that, 
Let's see. Bradburn is now on our map. There's Bradburn right here. There's also a it's like a location over here too that we're going to explore and then one up here as well, the reservoir, and that will end our exploration for this episode. Next episode we will begin here like probably right outside the Fizz Top Grill and head into Kitty Kingdom. So, let's go ahead and begin our journey. Now, before we head straight into Brad Burton, let's go ahead and pop into this house really quick off to the left. It's the second house. Have ourselves a little Easter egg here. It's a Dark Souls Easter egg. You can kindle the fire. Boom. The sword. Just grab a couple of stim packs. It gives you stim packs because, you know, resting in a bonfire restores your health in Dark Souls. Fans of my channel would, I don't know. I've done Dark Souls. If you take the sword, you get three more stim packs. So we're solid. Jeez, what is going on over there? Kind of really want to know what is up with this. Must just be like raiders taking on, I don't know. <laughs> Taking on enemies. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll grab this location off to the right. Here. It's like a residence. Discovered Bradburn. We're going to try and avoid the insides of Bradburn because there are a lot of ghouls running around. Just feral ghouls. Charred feral ghouls. Just like ammo sponges and I don't know stuff that I don't particularly want to deal with because these are just ruins for the most part there's nothing special to get in Bradburn except to see that little Easter egg there and to get the hollow tape that will assist us in the kitty kingdom so it's the only two things of note oh yeah this uh that door is chained so what we have to do is enter you know I, I think I'm just gonna get out of this power armor now I had my fun with it, but I'm done with it. I had my fun with it, but I'm done with it. Let's go ahead and go down here. There's a little pipe here. That's how you enter the Morton residence. As you can see, there's the remains of the Morton guy himself. I'll take that quantum, bud, since you won't be having it. Let's check out the safe. It looks like there's a rad roach, too. I'll let Gage deal with that. I gotta give him the shotgun. I'll do that after this episode. I'll do all that off camera. Save some time. Unlock empty. It's like unlocked, but not. <coughs> That's it. Weird. Okay. I guess it was letting you know that it was empty. Just in case beforehand. Let's grab this medex. Bloodworm. Nope, because I already did. Well, you can have whatever's left that I didn't want, though. How does that sound? You get another suit of power armor in here anyway. Look at that. Oh, I guess we'll unlock this. See what kind of items are in here. Yes. Nothing good. Let's turn on the radio. And that's how you unchain the door from that side. All right, cool. Now that that's taken care of, where are we at? We need to be on the north side, the north end of the map. That is where the body will be. F I mean, yeah, okay. I already said the body will be found. That we need to get the hollow tape off of. It's Rachel's hollow tape, and there's the body of Rachel over here. Um, right here, actually. This is it. Look at that. Here, ghouls outside. Oh god! All right. Well, anyway, let's grab the hollow tape. Play it really quick. Oh, it looks like Gage ran into them. There's a stim pack here. I can't go any further. I can feel it taking me. Gotta keep it together a little longer. Sorry, I've looked everywhere I could think, but there's no cure. 
Oswald. What towns and outposts I could find said that we ghouls just go feral eventually. And there's nothing to be done. Maybe it was the misters. Held out. As long as I can. I know this isn't what you'd want, but... I can't stand the thought of mindlessly attacking everyone around me. So I've decided to end it on my own terms. I don't know why it hasn't affected you the same. But if you still held it together, I want you to move on. Leave Nuka World. You can still make a life out there. It's not all as bad as we thought. I love you, Oz. Alright, here we are. Discovering our final location. Like I said, there's nothing but a bunch of junk and, you know, I guess ammo and whatever to get in Bradburn. We got all the important stuff. Thought there'd be more there, too. I was a little bit, bit disappointed. And how little special Bradburn itself was. You know what? There we go. I'm gonna stun that one. Wanna well, fight this one. Ugh. Having a slab fest with our with our claws. There we go. That takes care of the kill razor claw. These poor Mario Lurks, they were just defending their home turf. And I'm just coming in here smacking them around. Cutting off their heads. Whoa! Slice and dice. Let's not forget to discover the location itself. There it is. All right, let's get let's check out this. Uh, we're not done here, but let's check out these buildings. We still have a bit more action. Glowing, you can see the glowing Mirelurk from all the way over here. I love it. All right, so that just takes us out of here. Gage is fighting some Mirelurk hatchlings. I don't think. There might be some... I just want to see if there's any supplies in here really quick. And it doesn't look like there is any. Or there are any. Whatever is the correct way of saying that. Uh, Alright, well, fuck it. Let's go ahead and... Let's head to the center here. We still have a couple more Mirelix to contend with. Oh, jeez. Quite a few of them over here. I want to get them to like stay in one spot, but I can't without like seriously hurting myself. Oh, well, that was my chance too. Oh, I got the razor part pretty good with that one. There we go, one more smack, boom! Now I can stun him. Uh. Just wail away. Dun, dun, dun. The queen herself is what I was waiting for. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ah. Can't get up that. There we go. Well, I am out of. Here, I got this. I know exactly what to use. Lay her ass on fire, but she will kill me really quick if I don't. Oh shit! Whoa! It's 
like all up in my face. Aha. You know, let's finish her off with style. I didn't have a critical, so I was like, oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to do regular vats. Regular vats are just gonna have to do. Finders, keepers, am I right? You are right, Gage. I think that's it, so let me check out this center area really quick, and that's gonna be it for the whole, like, yeah, east side of the map, I guess. All the side locations, that is. Got this dude. Just on a life preserver, all dead. Some tickets. Looks like that's it. Looks like there's a whatever special type of Nuka Cola there. I don't really care though. All right, yeah, one, two, three. So that clears up the whole right side of the the map, actually, outside of these parks. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to begin right outside the Fizz Top Grill, and we are going to enter the Kitty Kingdom. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. <laughs> okay. I'll deal with these guys. My name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the hey, next one.